a budget 699 US dollars MacBook is on its way in 2024. Today I want to cover what this new MacBook SE will do for us giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the MacBook SE release date and price too. So first of all, let's talk about why this MacBook SE could be coming. Now if you've been following Apple's progress of sales over the last year or two, you will know that the M1 MacBooks were a massive hit when they came out during the pandemic time. However, not many other people have bought as many say M2 or M2 Pro and so on and so forth macbooks or macs over the last sort of 18 months or so apple in their sales report have been hoping that they were selling a few more than they actually did and they're hoping that obviously with the new m3 max that there will be a better sale increase in this area but one of the macbooks that has been sold since 2020 is the m1 macbook air and to be deadly honest now it is starting to show its age a little bit and this does need to be replaced especially say if next year we start the m4 journey instead we will need to actually replace this macbook with something brand new so instead of just sticking a m2 chipset say in that design of that macbook air we've been told from report here that apple are looking to make a budget macbook air tweaks on the old design that we have seen before this design here if you recognize it is quite familiar because actually it's a tweak design of the 2015 macbook that had a 12 inch display and also was the first macbook to have a USB-C port on the side of it. It's very possible that Apple could tweak this design and add, say, a MagSafe port and keep that one USB-C port, then put a notch on the top of the screen and put a 1080p camera inside of it, and then also put a better keyboard inside of the design because the butterfly keyboard that came with it failed quite often, to be fair. Apple could also put the likes of, like I said, the M2 chipset inside this MacBook and sell it as just the MacBook or even call it the MacBook. SE. There are loads of other things I could talk about with this MacBook, but I'm going to have to cover them in another video. So make sure you haven't done so already. Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be giving you more details in other videos. But don't forget also, guys, in a minute, I'll also go over the actual specs that we know so far for this MacBook. This also leads me nicely on to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they will come true, that this new MacBook will even come. I only can present to you of what I've been told and shown and what I'm showing you right here. However, if you are still watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook anyway and also we'll have to find out what the overall design will look like when it actually is released. So then guys, just quickly, with all these new MacBooks that have just come out, like the new M3 series of them, you'll want to protect your new MacBook if you're gonna go and purchase one. And the best thing you can do right now is buy yourself a TomTop case, just like this one here. This is the A13 range of the TomTop cases, and I've got them for loads of different MacBooks that I own right now. So I own the brand new M3 Pro MacBook Pro 14 inch and it just slides in really easily into this TomTop case. The TomTop cases are super well padded and they're so soft inside, it's like a big pillow. And to be deadly honest, if they made these into a sleeping bag, I'd probably actually buy one to sleep in them because they're so nice and soft inside. So you know your MacBook is gonna be definitely looked after in one of these cases. Not only this, they also have corner armor technology. So this helps that if the laptop case got a bit of a bang on the side here, it will help protect on the actual corners of your actual MacBook inside of it. These cases are made from the TomTop Recycle called collection and in fact this case here for example any of these cases are actually made out of eight PET bottles recycled into them what is really really good like I said you can get them for other Macs too like say a MacBook Air for example as well as the MacBook Pros and best of all when you get one of these cases you can also double your warranty so you can actually get a two-year warranty out of one of these cases what is absolutely amazing too and if you want to find out more information about these cases make sure you check out the link what's being displayed right now to give you more information on these TomTop cases and that information will be in the description of my video. So if you're going to get yourself a new MacBook, make sure you get yourself 
Tom Top case. So then, next of all, let's talk about the release day. Now, this really does mainly depend on how well those initial sales of the M3 go, and it depends on if this MacBook is even going to be creative. If Apple are doing so well with their M3 devices and selling really, really well, and also say that the sales of the M1 MacBook Air go down and they sell, say, more M2 MacBook Airs instead, then Apple might not even push out this device. But if the opposite happens, the M3 doesn't go as well, people are still buying that M1 MacBook Air or even the M2 MacBook Airs, then this could actually push Apple to bring in this new MacBook SE model. With this then, most likely that any budget MacBook is not going to be coming until after summer in 2024. So the earliest we'll see this new MacBook, if it does even come, will be October or November next year. Apple, like in 2023, are most likely to hold an event around this time, and we're expected to either see the M4 MacBooks around this time, or even we may even see them in spring 2025. And if this does happen, it's expected that this new budget MacBook is expected to be announced just before that to stop any light being taken away of all the sort of power and performance of the M4 series of the new Mac devices that will have those chips inside of it. So with that out of the way, let's now talk about the specs of this new MacBook SE that is coming out and what we know so far. So if it is going to be using that old MacBook design, then we do actually know quite a bit about this. So we know it's actually a 12 inch LED retina display and the resolution of that one is 2304 by 1440. 40. Don't expect it to be a ProMotion display, it will be a 60 hertz display. At the end of the day, this is, like I say, the budget MacBook. So do not expect all singing, all dancing specs inside of it. It's just enough to get you into the MacBook family. And with that then, guys, what you're going to get is you're going to get 256 gigabytes of storage or a 512 gigabyte storage option, most likely. And then, like we said, we will not get one of the newest chipset inside of it. We'll probably still just have an M2 chip. Set. And remember guys, this will probably just coming out before even the M4 comes out. So with that, you will either have the 8 core CPU and this will come with either a choice of the 10 or the 12 core GPU. It's most likely this will still be a fanless design like the MacBook Air because this can do that. So we're expecting that. And also for RAM options, it will either be 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's unlikely it will even feature the 24 gigabyte that you can get on a MacBook Air because at the end of the day, like I say, this is meant to be a budget. MacBook. The actual design will be an aluminium design or aluminium body design. We'll have one MagSafe port and probably just one USB-C port too with that on the actual side of the MacBook. We will also probably still get the headphone port and everything like that but the colours will probably just be standard space grey, silver and gold and then the tweak design will actually have that centre stage webcam that will be a 1080p webcam in the top there. The battery life is expected to be up to about 50 15 hours because at the end of the day the smaller MacBook Air gets up to 18 hours and this is a slightly smaller design so we're expecting to get 15 hours with that M2 chipset and then the price with an 8 gigabytes of RAM and that standard 256 gigabytes of storage and also the smallest M2 chipset inside of it with just the 10 core GPU expect prices to start at 699 US dollars or if you wanted to go for the 512 gigabyte option still with 8 gigabytes of RAM it'll probably cost you about 800 and 99 US dollars. But there we go, that is a summary of the new MacBook or MacBook SE. And for my thoughts, I'm super excited to see a MacBook like this. The last time we actually had a budget MacBook stopped back in 2012, and this was a plastic white design. Now, obviously, Apple did bring out a new MacBook, that's what they just called it, and this was the one that was in 2015 and also updates in 2017. And this is the design you can see here. But at the time when that came out, that was actually even more expensive than the MacBook Air that was out at that time. But I would love to know what your thoughts are on this new MacBook and also would you be interested in buying one like this? Let me know in the comments below. And on top of that as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure you like this video and at the same time you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons. Please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.